Welcome to Technically in Sports Info, the place where complex engineering concepts are explained in the simplest way possible. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon, because we regularly bring powerful technical knowledge and real industry examples that help engineers, students, and professionals grow faster. Today, we're going to understand one of the most important parts of a distillation column, trays. We'll learn what trays are, how they work, the main types of trays, and why they're used in different industries. So let's begin. What are trays in a distillation column? In simple words, trays are the internal components placed inside a distillation column to help separate liquid and vapor mixtures efficiently. Inside the column, you have a rising vapor and a falling liquid. The trays create stages or contact points where these two phases meet, vapor going up and liquid going down, allowing mass transfer and heat exchange to take place. Each tray works like a mini distillation unit. The vapor gets partially condensed, and the liquid gets partially vaporized, separating lighter and heavier components step by step. Purpose of Trays the main purpose of trays is to maximize contact between liquid and vapor. This contact improves separation efficiency, so you get a better purity of top and bottom products. Construction of a tray. A tray is not just a flat plate. It consists of several key parts. 1. Tray deck. The flat area where liquid and vapor interact. 2. Downcomer a vertical channel that carries liquid from one tray to the tray below. 3. Weir, a small wall that controls the liquid level on the tray before it flows into the downcomer. 4. Outlet and inlet areas, where liquid enters and exits each tray. 5. Vapor openings or holes. These allow vapor to pass through the tray deck and bubble into the liquid layer. Together, these components make sure that both phases stay in contact for enough time to exchange heat and mass properly. How trays work. Let's understand the working step by step. 1. Vapor rises from below the tray and passes through holes or caps into the liquid. 2. The vapor bubbles through the liquid, mixing and transferring heat and mass. 3. Some of the liquid vaporizes light components, and some vapor condenses heavy components. 4. The remaining liquid flows over the weir and down the downcomer to the tray below. This process continues tray by tray, from bottom to top, until the top vapor and bottom liquid reach the required composition. So, more trays mean better separation, but also higher pressure drop and cost, so the design is always optimized. Types of trays there are three main types of distillation trays used in industries. 1. Bubble cap trays. 2. Sieve trays. 3. Valve trays. Each type has its own design, advantages, and working principle. Let's discuss them one by one in detail. Bubble cap tray. This is the oldest and most traditional tray type, but still used in some specific applications. Design. A bubble cap tray has risers also called chimneys with caps on top. Each cap has slots or holes that allow vapor to pass through and bubble into the liquid layer. Working. Vapor rises through the riser, hits the cap, and is forced to move sideways through the cap slots into the liquid. This creates many small bubbles, giving excellent vapor-liquid contact. Advantages. Works even at very low vapor rates. No weeping vapor leakage. Stable operation over a wide range of loads. Disadvantages. Expensive and complex to manufacture. High pressure drop. Difficult to clean and maintain. Because of these reasons, bubble cap trays are now mostly replaced by simpler types like sieve or valve trays. Sieve tray. This is the simplest and most economical type of tray used today. Design. It's basically a flat metal plate with perforations holes. No caps or valves, just holes through which vapor passes. Working. Vapor from below the tray rises through these holes and bubbles into the liquid layer, creating good mixing. 
The liquid flows across the tray and then down through the downcomer to the next tray. Advantages. Low cost and easy to fabricate. Easy to clean and maintain. Provides good efficiency at moderate vapor rates. Disadvantages. At very low vapor flow, liquid can leak through holes. This is called weeping. At very high vapor rates, it can cause entrainment vapor carries liquid droplets upward. Still, sieve trays are widely used because of their simplicity and good overall performance. Valve tray. Valve trays are an improved version of sieve trays. Design. They have small liftable valves or discs that sit over holes in the tray deck. These valves open automatically when vapor flows upward. Working. When vapor passes through, it lifts the valve slightly, allowing vapor to flow and bubble through the liquid. If vapor rate decreases, the valve closes partially, preventing liquid leakage. Advantages. Self-adjusting to vapor load. Reduced weeping and better efficiency. Good flexibility under variable operating conditions. Disadvantages. More expensive than sieve trays. Mechanical parts can wear out over time. Valve trays are very popular in refineries, petrochemical plants, and other high-performance distillation units because they offer a good balance between cost and efficiency. Tray type cost efficiency maintenance suitability. Bubble cap high high difficult wide load range. Sieve low moderate easy simple systems. Valve medium high moderate variable loads. Trays are usually spaced 18 to 24 inches apart, depending on vapor flow, column diameter, and service type. Design engineers always balance between efficiency, pressure drop, and cost. Other important factors include vapor and liquid load, foaming tendency, corrosion resistance, ease of maintenance. Trays are used in oil refineries, fertilizer plants, chemical plants, gas processing, pharmaceutical distillation, alcohol and beverage industries. In short, any place where vapor liquid separation is needed, trays play a vital role. Let's quickly recap. Trays provide contact between vapor and liquid in a distillation column. Main types, bubble cap, sieve, and valve trays. Each has its own design, advantages, and applications. The goal, efficient separation with minimum energy loss and maintenance. So that's all for today's video on distillation column trays and their types. I hope you now understand how trays work and why they are so important in industrial distillation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Technically and Sports Info for more simple and powerful explanations on mechanical, chemical, and industrial engineering topics. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.